A rustic wooden house stands on a snowy hillside. Fresh snow glimmers in the bright pre-dawn light, settling onto the surrounding rocky forest. The door opens. Rost, a man in his thirties wearing garments fortified with armour plates, steps onto the porch and squints into the distance. Silhouettes of mountains line the horizon. Wind lifts snow from the yard and sends it spiralling. Rost scowls at the weather, his face softening as he looks at the fur-bundled baby girl in his arms. What's that now? Don't like the cold? She reaches towards him. Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. Rost kneels and slides the child into a cradle board propped against the wall, slipping a handmade amulet around her neck. Her smooth scalp is the polar opposite of Rost's thick dreadlocks. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. The baby smiles down at the amulet. Good. He starts down the stairs into the yard, spear in hand. Today, I speak your name, girl. Will the goddess speak it back? With the baby now on his back, he walks through a gate and out of the yard through thin fog. Rost descends a path into the forest, leaving the snow behind. He trudges along, talking to the girl over his shoulder, eventually coming to 21st century ruins overgrown with weeds. Normally it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual, but... We are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. A rabbit bounds by. To us, we're left the splendors of creation. Beasts of air, water, earth. And steel. Rost kneels at the edge of a large clearing. With an earth-shaking thud, the massive foot of a huge giraffe-like robot stomps the earth, then lifts for another step. Rost creeps along the screen of trees as the huge robot angles towards herds of other machines, antelope-like grazers, horse-like striders, and prowling one-eyed watchers. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. Rost lingers, gazing at the machines and the world promised to the little girl. He ascends a snowy cliffside path, taking a moment to enjoy the view. They arrive at a massive platform constructed atop a waterfall, adorned with flags and trinkets. Just ahead, an elderly woman in rustic but heavily ornamented garb waits for him at a ceremonial gate. The undersides of the clouds overhead are bright pink. Hi, Matriarch Tirsa. What is she doing here? Does she mean to forbid the ritual? Tirsa beckons to them as they approach and Rost removes the baby from her carrier, holding her in his arms. He approaches Tirsa, kneels, and bows his head. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... The girl reaches for Tirsa. I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Tirsa paints a single blue line on the girl's forehead. Rost carries her through the gate to the edge of the cliff. The sky glows yellow and the mountain before him is a huge shadow outlined in light. Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Rost holds the girl aloft to the sun. Aloy! The girl reaches playfully for the sunlight as it spills over the mountain across the valley, painting him and the child in streams of light. Smiling, Rost holds Aloy close. And so her name is blessed. Another matriarch and an escort of warriors. Stop this at once! Rost and Tirsa turn. What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you... Blessing its name like it was one I know my duty to them. And to you. Without consultation. 
I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. The camera pulls back from Ross, holding an out gleeful Aloy in his arms. Flocks of birds dot the valley below. White block text appears as though painted by a thick brush. Horizon. Zero Dawn. 